Hello guys, welcome to Jira administration tutorial series. This is another tutorial on the Jira administration and the general configuration of Jira um, as, as an administrator. So I'll cover some of the general config that you can uh, do and customize Jira accordingly as per your organization's need. Um, and what all information is required when you're doing the general config. So to get started, uh, to get into the general config, you just uh, go to the cog wheel in the right hand side and go to the application system um, uh, to open the general config. So, so I've gone to the system and in the general config, it's open or just uh, type in the dot and start typing general config it will go it will take you to the same location now these are the um, general configuration or the settings of jira uh, as as a default however it is possible to either go to the advanced settings and edit those settings or edit these settings so for example here you see the title is jira if i go and edit the settings here uh, and click on the edit uh, button there I can change this application title to whatever uh, I uh, whatever is required as per the organization so uh, my application title I have changed it to RCV Academy the next is the mode which is private and public so now you can change the mode to private or public what is the difference between private and public uh, is that in the private mode only administrators can create new users however in public mode anyone can come to your jira instance and sign up for your jira instance and can post issues uh, please note that any of these public users will be counted against the user license for your jira instance so you have to make sure then when that when you are opening your jira instance for public sign up um, you account for the licenses that that you'll be uh, that that you need to uh, have before you you open it for the public sign up um, and once the public sign up is enabled those people will be able to register and log issues however you can still you know like you will be able to control what access they have which project access they have uh, and that is totally in control uh, with the project admin or the uh, Jira administration uh, that that can be uh, controlled within the Jira administration. So I'll leave it as uh, as private as of now. And then now the next thing on the screen is you see the maximum authentication attempts allowed. So that is basically uh, set up as three at the moment. And what this means is basically if you enable the capture. Uh, what will be the maximum authentication attempts that will be tried by the user before the captcha is shown to the user so you can turn on and off the captcha so at the moment it's off i'll leave this as default you have the base url uh, which which is available here now the next thing on the screen is the email from so you can customize the from header for the email notification that go through the jira um, and then you can have some short introduction there as well. The other thing is around the indexing language, etc., internationalization uh, things. Uh, and then you have options to turn on and off the voting, watching, or public sharing for the users. Uh, and what would be the maximum project name size, etc., the project name key size. So all these configurations that you see on these page are the general config that you can update as per the um, as per the project needs and the requirement now uh, going below uh, you'll see that you have the allow gravitas etc so you have you can turn it on and off now going back to the bottom here um, we have discussed the gravitas uh, the other important thing is to disable uh, the empty jql queries you can disable or enable that so at the moment it's off um, and why this is sort of uh, important by default uh, because uh, empty jql queries return all the issues in your instance so which uh, affect the performance every time you run them and that is why you can turn um, that on so if you turn this option on empty jql queries won't return any of the issues at all 
and this will improve the performance of your Jira instance. So there are a lot of information. There is a lot of information on this page that you can go through and uh, understand what all things are required um, and uh, what all uh, information is relevant as per your project. Uh, and you can customize that. The other important thing to note here is the default language configuration. So at the moment, I'm in Australia. So uh, the default language is set as English Australia and the time zone is set as, as Melbourne. Uh, depending on where your Jira instance is and where your organization is, you can change the default language uh, to the support language uh, in the Jira instance and to the time zone, um, either to the system default uh, that your system is or to a specific time zone uh, that you are in. So that's pretty much uh, all about the general configuration and why understanding the general conf configuration is important because this will be required a lot by you to customize your Jira instance and update some of the key things in in the general config to improve the performance for example the empty disabling empty JQL queries. So thank you very much for watching and please do share and subscribe.